Welcome back to this Computer Science 1 video series. In this module, we'll cover arrays. This module is presented in seven parts. We start with a brief introduction on how arrays work. We then demonstrate the basic usage of arrays in C. We then turn our attention to using dynamic arrays and memory management. We cover how arrays can be used with functions. And finally, we cover both multidimensional arrays and give a demonstration on shallow versus deep copies of arrays. First, an introduction to arrays. We rarely only have to deal with one piece of data. Usually we have to process more than one number or string or object. Collections of data can be stored in what are known as arrays. In plain language, an array is an ordered series or arrangement of items. In the context of code, arrays are collections of ordered data that are all stored contiguously in memory. Note that ordered is not the same thing as sorted. Ordered simply means that there's a notion of a first element, a second element, etc., as well as a last element. Arrays have a single name or identifier, and the size is fixed when you create them. You can access individual elements in an array using an index, which is simply just an integer indicating which element you want. In C, as well as the vast majority of programming languages, Arrays are zero indexed. This means that the first element is at index zero, the second element is at index one, etc. If an array has n elements, the last element would be at index n minus one since we start at zero. Indexing is usually done with square brackets. In fact, you've seen this before when we worked with command line arguments and the argv array. Here's a visualization of a small array with nine elements. The indices run from 0 up to 8. The contents of the array are ordered but not necessarily sorted. And all elements are stored contiguously together, one after the other, with no gaps in between. To understand indexing better, suppose that we have an array whose name is ARR and stores integers, which are 4 bytes each. The reference ARR is actually a pointer, that is a memory address. To access the ith element, we specify an index in square brackets. This indexing is actually computing a memory offset from the start of the array. The ith element would be i times 4 bytes away from the beginning of the array. Here's our example again. To access the first element, we use index 0. 0 times 4 is 0 bytes away from the beginning of the array, so the first element lies right at the beginning of the array. The second element is at index 1, or 1 times 4 bytes away from the beginning. The third is at 2 times 4, or 8 bytes away from the beginning, and so on. This is why programming languages generally use zero indexing, instead of the more mathematical convention of starting at 1. It's because the index represents a memory offset computation. Keep this in mind as we cover how to use arrays in the next part.